Good morning and welcome to part 9 of uh, my series of programs of regarding building the DJH A8 kit uh, and if you remember the last time we completed the cab, added the doors, completed the rear of the bunker as far as it goes so far there's still a few more bits to uh, add on the rear of the bunker uh, and I also mentioned that there was a certain amount of preparation that needed to be done before moving on to the next step which is um, the front of the foot plate and the detailing that uh, takes place there also the front of the tanks so what has been necessary to do and it is mentioned in the instructions on page page eight um, we have drilled the instructions actually say three but i've drilled four and you may just be able to see them there we go there's two on that side one on this side and another one on this side um, 1.2 millimeter holes uh, in the foot plate three of them behind where the lubricators fit which are uh, if I can pick it up without dropping it these white metal castings so there's three there uh, and there is an extra one on my locomotive because if you remember from the uh, from the big photograph if I hold it hold it up here there should be a lubricator manifold but it is actually mounted on the foot plate here uh, on this particular locomotive it was just before it was shot in 1955 and it was corrected then but as I'm making this for 1954 uh, I'm going to put the uh, lubricator manifold where it's shown on the picture uh, and with that in mind I've drilled an extra 1.2 millimetre hole here and I've also fitted a piece of scrap brass which you may just be able to see which supports the lubricator manifold rather than it be mounted on the, the frame at the front it's actually mounted on the foot plate so what we're going to do in this session is uh, we're going to carry on <coughs> sorry we're going to carry on with page 8 of the instructions, page 8 of the instructions which basically moves to the front of the, uh, the foot plate. We're going to fit the steps, we're going to fit various lubricators, we're going to fit the sandboxes, we're going to fit the surround around the sandboxes and if we have enough time if it doesn't go on too long we will move on to page nine and start doing page nine as well um, i'm going to leave the uh, lubricator pipe work for the moment um, i've had some various experimentation sessions uh, with regards to these uh, piping these up and as i mentioned in the instructions there isn't an indication of any any pipe work between the various uh, castings that um, that are included in the kit, apart from the the main lubricators, which there there are three of them. Um, I want to fit some form of pipe work, uh, and I found it very very difficult to actually drill the castings. They're quite hard. They're they're extremely small. I've tried a 0.3 millimeter drill to start it off. That that didn't work very well. Uh, I've tried my um, centre punch to sort of start it off, and I've had a reasonable amount of success with that. But I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to sort of lay the pipe work and not necessarily attach it too firmly to the castings. But we'll see what happens when we get to it. Uh, and that's a little way down the um, the uh, the road yet. But what what we'll do now is we'll start fitting the parts uh, from page eight, which uh, the front steps 
again they're much the same as the ones on the bunker rear they have a um, uh, an etched tab which fits through the hole there are two backing pieces which are half etched uh, which sit on top of them uh, there are the uh, combined there's two of these castings which are handed they're the combined locks for the uh, tank fillers and also the ha the handrails there's some lubricator castings again they fit on the front of the bunker uh, we've prepared made the wheels for the lubricators there are three of these and there are there are spares of those if you um, come to grief with those uh, um, we'll just basically carry on fitting the parts I will do much as I've done on the other ones I will start fitting the parts if I come across any difficulties I'll record a segment uh, uh, and then I'll show you what I've done but that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to start fitting the parts um, and we'll see how we get on with this So I'm back and ultimately a little bit of a frustrating session. Um, I managed to lose um, one of the two smallest castings L35 which are the, um, the uh, uh, unions for the cylinder lubrication which sit on the top of the foot plate. So what I've done uh, instead uh, I've removed both of them uh, and I've replaced them I had some a bit of 0.6 millimeter tube left, left over from making lamps so I used that and some wire and 16 BA nuts to make uh, a couple of facsimiles which actually look um, a lot closer to the ones in the photograph than, than actually the, the castings in the kit do but that's just my opinion so what I've done is I fitted the um, I fitted the steps on both sides the half etch piece goes underneath the step uh, the other thing that you will need to know is the step as I said has a fold up tab on it you'll have to make sure that that points upwards so the step and the tab is like that if you do it the other way round you will not be able to fit these lubricator castings because the tab will cover the hole so that's that's one thing uh, I've uh, fitted the tank fillers which are white metal using the uh, tin with 145 in again with 70 and then sweat the two parts together um, the uh, locks for the um, the locks for the uh, tank fillers are actually part of a, a brass casting which is also if you can just see it's also the stand for the front hand step so handrail so they've been fitted as well I've also fitted the two sandboxes there and there but I haven't fitted the covers yet which I'll probably just super glue in afterwards um, and there is an etched brass piece which goes on the outside now I found that the easiest thing to do was to take the two white metal castings dress them off um, to remove any flash or anything position them so they need to go hard up against the tank hard up against the frame um, solder them with 14570 like I did with the tank tops uh, tank fillers solder them with that and then sweat the etched piece on out around the outside it doesn't quite well it appears not to quite reach either the tank or the um, frames but um, the gap is so small it's hardly noticeable 
uh, at all. So I've done that. I've also fitted one of the lubricators. There are two more to go. Um, again, my advice with this is to pre-bend the wire before you um, uh, fit them to the lubricator. Uh, don't worry too much about hiding the wires because <laughs> there isn't an awful lot amount of space. And although I said the instructions say to drill these 1.2 millimeter holes you can't get six odd wires down the 1.2 millimeter holes 0.4 so uh, they're quite easy to hide behind and they're just sort of like generally be lost in in all the other bits and pieces on on there uh, I've also fitted the displacement lubricators so there's a two port and a three port one on either side um, and again I've fitted the, the manifolds for the, the manifold so you remember I said that one should be mounted over here but I mounted it crosswise on the thing and there's two two port ones the one on this side is hidden behind the, the second lubricator um, so there's no real need to worry about pipe work or anything for like, like that and I've done a little bit of pipe work on this side uh, and a bit on the other side as well uh, and I will carry on doing that um, at a later date but uh, this those bits have um, like I said losing those um, cast parts L35 uh, has been quite frustrating. Uh, I can't find they're absolutely tiny um, and there are no spares. So, if you want to use the DJH ones, please be very, very careful about how you handle these. Um, they, they are so small, they're so easy to lose. So, but ultimately, it's not worked out too badly because the the ones that I fabricated look closer to the ones on the BR, um, the BR locomotive. So, again, it's a bit of a short video this time. That's it. Thank you for watching this series. Uh, oh, <laughs> one last thing I need to mention: these castings which go through the frames, they have tabs, uh, tags mounting tags you will need to make sure that you dress them off the inside of the frames here and certainly dress off underneath the foot plate otherwise the chassis won't fit on or the boiler won't fit between the uh, the two frames so again that's just a little bit of a caution um, but as I said I'm going to leave it there for the moment a little bit of a short video uh, and I will come back hopefully sometime next week with a bit more uh, development from the point where we are now. Uh, half the castings have been fitted. There's just a few more castings and the bunker back to do. Uh, and then we're, we're ultimately on fitting the boiler. So thank you for watching. Watch out for some more videos coming soon.